time that they play the competition If they even play the competition Then I seen a response to it Last night I had a bad dream I was trapped in the city Then I asked, is that really such a bad thing? Put up on a nigga at the light like Nice watch Pass me August 16th, 10 days out from my next powerlifting meet. You guys just watched me kind of deadlift 680 pounds, and it looked really rough. Now, to give some context to the content that you're currently watching, I ate Chipotle right before I came to the gym, and that was like my only meal. So my deadlift session was very, very awkward. I wasn't able to brace against my belt. And whenever I pulled the weight, it just felt like vomit was going to explode from my body. Now, I had a couple of options going forward. Either muscle through this workout, take this L and keep it moving and continue on with bench, or kind of, you know, finish up the deadlift portion of this workout, split the bench portion to the next day, and see if we can have a bounce back type of day. Today was an absolute disaster inside of the gym. I never work out at night and I never eat a meal before my workout. So I decided that, hey, look, chalk up today to just another bad session. There's a lot of things that went into making this a very rough deadlift session. And come in tomorrow, smash bends and redeem yourself. The goal was to maintain confidence. I know a lot of lifters that will get shook in this particular situation. They'll have a terrible deadlift day and then the rest of the week is destroyed. But not me. I decided that this was just an isolated incident and we're going to make the rest of this week a good one. Good morning guys all right so as you guys know yesterday was one of the more difficult awkward workouts i've had in a while and i was only able to complete deadlift so i deadlifted and i was supposed to bench as well but i decided that yesterday look today is just not your day um there's a lot of things that are just kind of like not moving properly you don't feel good go ahead and keep this workout just for deadlift and then tomorrow come inside and do bench so that's what we're going to do today so today we're going to finish up the workout that we were supposed to do yesterday we have bench we have a four by four at that it is currently about uh 8 30 for the past couple of days i have been getting um the green tea latte from starbucks and i'm starting to become one of those starbucks people man so uh gonna have to start our day with some starbucks gonna get some starbucks come back home um, shower and we get our day started. Hello, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you? Can I have a green tea latte with non fat milk, please? Um, no, thank you. Alright, thank you, you too. Okay, I love Beast Mode Jones, so I'm gonna go ahead and like, I've already tasted it before, but I'm gonna go ahead and taste it like you taste it. All right, guys, we're about to try this green tea latte from Starbucks. It's a, it's a, it's a, a non-fat milk and it's a grande, so let's, let's try it out. That's pretty damn good. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys how I've implemented the green tea latte into my diet. I don't know if you guys knew, but I was eating a pint of Halo Top every single night. And basically a pint of Halo Top ice cream is equivalent to maybe like 66 grams of carbs, um, maybe like eight grams of fat and the protein somewhere here and there. But this green tea latte is 33 grams of carbs, so I'm able to fit it in. So I stopped eating my daily pint of Halo Top ice cream and I replaced it with this green tea latte. So I'm actually, down about 30 grams of carbs which is good because that's gonna help me with my cut and i get to enjoy this amazing green tea latte man okay we can start the day off now let's hop out of the shower but check it out don't worry i'm not pulling my pants out all the way but check it out look at this it says outfleet across the front so these are the new outfleet underwears and pretty fit nicely. They pass the squat test. <laughs> All right, so here are some of the options that you have for the outfleet underwears. So let me flip it over to the back. It has a size chart on here for people that want to check it out. So a size small is gonna be waist 20 to 30. Medium is going to be 30 to 32. Large is 32 to 34. And extra large is 34 to 36. So I'm currently wearing a large. They have a couple of different colors here. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. As you guys can see, the packaging is pretty cool. So it's like, let me open this one up. Here. And 
take this out. So it says Alphalete across the front and the fabric is actually, it's like more of like a sports kind of um, underwear. So it's like, um, kind of like compression shorts. So the, uh, the fabric is actually, let me pull it up here. It is 80% scent nylon and 14% elastane or whatever. So pretty cool stuff. I really like them. Once again, it passed the squatting test. So it's good. How's it going, y'all? It's Russell, the love muscle, and we have breakfast served up. We have the usual egg whites with turkey bacon and bell peppers with Kodiak protein pancakes. It's time to eat. Okay, perfect timing. I'm literally like getting dressed to go to the gym. Check it out. Just got a new shipment from Junk. So I ordered some more headbands. I'm pretty sure. Open this up right here. Junk released the Dino Mite headbands. So, here we go. Check this out. All right, you guys ready for this? Look at this, man. Peoples. They got like, oh, this is the 80s one that I asked for. Okay, so this is the 80s one. So the Junk Brands headbands had an 80s release. So like, this is kind of like an 80s type of style. So we got some interesting little designs right here. So the Dino pack is filled with like dinosaur type of designs so check this out man look at this so dope look at that isn't that tight it's tight so all these different headbands i'm not sure which one i'm gonna be wearing for today's workout Ooh. Dang. i don't know which one i'm gonna wear but yeah these are the new headbands that were dropped like always you can use my code russwold to save you 10 percent off your next purchase whenever you're purchasing from junkbrands.com Hey guys, so actually before heading on to the gym, I'm here at the warehouse to pick up some more of the stuff that's launching on Saturday. So I'm here to pick up the Hero Seamless and then the what's, what's the other one? Plain Seamless. Plain Seamless. So I'm going to jump into a super suit because obviously the Hero Seamless is going to make me a hero, I guess. <laughs> okay guys, right now I'm going to put on a large Hero Seamless to see how it fits. You're saying it fits like super tight? You. <laughs> Supposedly, it's like a pretty, it's a tighter fit, so we'll see. Or, nah, we can get away with this. I feel like, yeah, that's solid. Okay, guys, here's what I came to wear for the workout. So I'm wearing the Black Hero Seamless short sleeve one. And let's put it on. Already. That's clean. Yeah, super clean. I feel like a, I feel like a superhero. <laughs> hence, uh, hence hero, hero seamless. All right, this is real clean. Got, got down, got down clean as shit. <laughs> I don't know how well the camera's gonna show, but check out like the details on the side. So like, look at this man, super cool. Really, really nice fabric. It's like really stretchy. It's like form fitting a little bit. It's a little bit tighter, but that's the way I like it. I like it. That's why I like it tied upon my body because I don't work outside the gym to wear loose clothes. You feel me? I'm literally struggling to carry all this, man. <laughs> I'm literally struggling. All right, so I'll see you in the gym. Yes, sir. All right, man. Appreciate it. Damn, this door just like, so light. I'm not the sure to show, 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 I'm not the sure to show,
That comeback is real. 340 on the bar. Did it for my first set of four, and it felt really easy. It's supposed to be an RP 78. That's what I was supposed to do yesterday. Today's all about redemption. Today's all about getting what I was supposed to get yesterday and getting it today. And we work it. And it's like a combination of like getting a new headbands, getting a new outfit. It's just like it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. I'm, I'm about to murder the rest of this workout. So I got three more sets of this. Three more sets. Three. Let's get it. Okay guys, we wrapped up benching. Now we're gonna move on to the bodybuilding part of this workout. So we're gonna be working out chest and maybe shoulders and triceps, maybe like a push workout. So let's work. Actually wait, let's get it. Seems that she's eating um what is that? What would you call that? Trash food. <laughs> Not a burger. <laughs> uh, we are done with the workout. Man, way to bounce back. Like this is the ultimate bounce back workout that I've ever had in my life. Like yesterday was terrible. I felt like I was gonna throw up every single time. I was deadlifting and and I just came back today and I was like, boy, you better get back on that shit, boy. And we came, we work, we worked out. And I was about that action today. Woo! Man, I feel awesome. Like, I just feel good. It's, it's a combination of a lot of things going right today. The fact that I got some new gear, that always hypes me up to come inside the gym and kill it, so. <sighs> we worked, man. We really worked today, man. Yo, so we just made it back to the crib and I've decided I'm gonna just go ahead and end the video right here. There's nothing else really that important that I need to show you guys or anything like that. But I do have a quick announcement that I wanna make. I was like thinking about this a lot because I get a lot of emails asking me about like custom made vans and stuff like that. And I like, I kinda of discontinued that in a sense because it just, it just takes a lot of time. But what I'm gonna start doing forward is doing like two to three vans a month and make it like a monthly kind of release. It's like, oh, like, we have a February release of some custom made vans. I'm only gonna be doing two to three pairs a month and I'll announce your name like, okay, I chose to do this person's pair of vans or whatever and we're going to go through that process of getting their vans ready for them and sending out to them all that stuff. So if you guys want to do this, once again, russwell.com, I mean russwell at gmail.com, email me there and we can begin that. It is August 17th and we are nine days out from the Power of Meet, basically a week basically week so the heavy lifting is basically done in a sense the only thing left i have to do is i guess like a mock me i actually i don't even know the way joey likes to peek but we're almost there man the tune up the tune up this last meet and then after that we have raw nationals coming up so we're working man we're working i was able to come back from a bad day yesterday and ball out today so this video is coming to end guys hope you guys enjoyed this video like always if you guys like this video please like comment share subscribe get better today i'm out Oh!